This is a fun problem. In a right-angled triangle, one of the acute angles, or this one, measures 30 degrees, and we are told that the total perimeter of this triangle is 36 units. You know what a perimeter is, right? It is simply the sum of all the sides of the triangle. Using only this much information, our job is to find the area of this triangle. So, can you solve it? Okay, in order to solve this question, we will be using basic trigonometry and the special 30-60-90 triangle ratio. By the way, if this is 30 degrees and this is 90 degrees, then this angle will be 180 minus 30 minus 90, or 180 minus 120 or 60 degrees, right? Now you might be wondering, hey, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry starts with three simple ratios that relate an angle inside a right triangle to its side lengths. These ratios are called sine, cos, and tangent. Assume this acute angle is theta. Then the sine of this angle theta is simply the length of the side opposite the angle, or this one divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Then the cos of this angle theta is the length of the side adjacent to the angle, or this one, divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Then the tangent of this angle theta is the length of the side opposite the angle divided by the length of the side adjacent to the angle. For the special angle of 30 degrees, meaning if theta is 30 degrees, the following standard values are easy to remember. The sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. The cos of 30 degrees is root 3 divided by 2. And the tangent of 30 degrees is 1 divided by square root of 3. These standard values let us convert angles to side ratios without heavy calculation. Okay, now here comes the magic. If we label this opposite side length as k units, then what do you think will be the length of the adjacent and the hypotenuse for this triangle? The sine of 30 is half, so this opposite over hypotenuse will be half, right? So if the opposite is k, then this hypotenuse will be simply 2 times k, right? Then tan of 30 degrees is 1 over the square root of 3, so this opposite over adjacent will be 1 over the square root of 3, right? Now, if the opposite is k, then this adjacent side length will be simply root 3 times k, right? So the three side lengths are k, k times root 3, and k times 2. Therefore, the perimeter, which is the sum of those three side lengths, will be k plus 2k plus root 3k, or 3k plus root 3k. So it becomes k multiplied by 3 plus root 3. That total must be equal to 36, because the problem gives the perimeter as 36 units. Therefore, k is 36 divided by 3 plus root 3. To make this number nicer to work with, we will rationalize the denominator by multiplying numerator and denominator by 3 minus root 3. Now, simplify the denominator first. It is of the form a minus b times a plus b, which is equal to a square minus b square, right? So it becomes 3 square minus root 3 square, which is 9 minus 3, or 6. Now divide 36 by 6, and we finally get k equals 6, multiplied by 3 minus root 3. Noise! Now here comes the climax. The area of a right triangle is half multiplied by the product of the two legs, or the two shorter sides that meet at the right angle. Here the two legs are the side opposite 30 degrees and the side opposite 60 degrees. So the area is one half multiplied by k times root 3k, or square root of 3 over 2 times k square. Let us calculate the value of k square, which will be this. We can split it and write k squared as 6 squared times 3 minus root 3 whole squared, or 36 times this. To solve this, we will have to use the formula a minus b whole square equals a square minus 2 ab plus b square. Here a is 3 and b is root 3. So k squared equals 3 squared minus 2 times 3 times root 3 plus root 3 squared. 
This gives 9 plus 3 minus 6, root 3, or 12 minus 6, root 3. Take 6 as common, and we get 6 times 2 minus root 3. So, k squared equals 216 times 2 minus root 3. Therefore, the area becomes square root of 3 over 2 times this. Divide by 2 to get 108 times 2 minus root 3. Now, multiply this by root 3 to get 108 times 2 root 3 minus this will become 3, and that's it. Also, if you prefer a decimal approximation, that exact expression evaluates to approximately 50.123 square units. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.